Okay, you want to visit some place specific, some maybe your home or a business nearby, or maybe a famous location. There's some guides out there to show you how to do latitude and longitude and how to paste them in separately, but that's old school. We're going to use GPS. Okay, first we're going to use Google Maps. We're going to type in the name of a location here. This is a hospital uh, in Southern California. If you right click on it and you look down here and it says what's here, you'll see down here at the bottom there's GPS location. If you click on that, it'll appear right here. And all you have to do is highlight it. You can double click on it too. Say copy and you're ready to go. And of course, since uh, Flight Simulator uses Bing, uh, we're going to use Bing Daddy here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to type in uh, a place, the same place, and I'm going to click on it. But it's right there. All you have to do is say copy and it puts it into your buffer and you're ready to go again. Okay, now that you have that in your buffer, you're going to go over here to the world map. And as soon as you get there, you're going to see that there's a search bar. Simply use that buffer, give it control V, and you paste it in there. Boom, there it is. You come down here and it gives you a custom waypoint. Now I'm going to use it for the start of my uh, flight. So I'm going to click here and say set as departure. And just click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I have changed my aircraft. I don't want to be flying a 747. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, one of these, say OK, go back. Uh, I'm still there, ready to go. And all I have to do is uh, click on the fly button. Then depending upon how fast your system is, you'll jump right to there. Because Flight Simulator knows you're not at an airport, you're going to be hovering in midair. So as soon as you click on it, you're flying. It gives you a generic speed uh, start from, but you're over the location that you pasted in. Now you can use your drone camera like some people suggest, but I pressed Y to go into slew mode so I can move around. And I look around until oh, there's this large medical looking building out there. Sure enough, here I am right over that hospital, ready to punch uh, Y again to go back to normal flying mode. Okay, now that we went to somewhere local, let's go to somewhere more interesting. Pick a place wherever you want. Uh, in this particular demo, uh, I'm going to fly around the Statue of Liberty and maybe a little bit of New York as well. But before we talk about flying in a densely populated place like New York, uh, we need to talk about graphics quality. If you're on a high-end machine, don't worry about it. But if you're on a lower end and you're already struggling to run Flight Simulator, you probably need to visit the control panel. Remember, places like New York have a lot of objects, a lot of detail to them, much more than your local. So I'll go here and check maybe go to the low end setting here and change some settings there. Oh, by the way, always put your terrain level of detail and objects level of detail down to the lowest of 10, no matter what the graphic systems you have. But this is an absolute, depends upon your system. So your system may crash uh, and just uh, wink out on you. So go back here and make some adjustments and try again. I'm using Bing because I like it. It's a lot easier. I'll go ahead and say copy that. Come back over here and click in the search bar. And just like before, uh, when you click on there, you paste it in, you get your link, click on it, and then you zoom right into your custom waypoint. And you notice it knows it's the Statue of Liberty, by the way. It says set as departure. And you click on fly and you're ready to go. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it starts you off flying, so as soon as you uh, uh, press ready to fly, uh, you're out there. So I'm going to switch to external view here. So now here I am flying past the Statue of Liberty. Now, if it doesn't put you at the right altitude or exactly the right distance away, uh, what I do is I enter the slew mode. And you do that by pressing the Y key on your keyboard. And I have a tutorial on slew mode that I'm releasing soon. Now what slew mode does is it pauses your flight and lets you use function keys to move up and down, left and right, position your aircraft right where you're at. And then when you're done, all you have to do is press Y to resume the same speed uh, that you were at before. So here I am flying uh, around the Statue of Liberty uh, more to my liking. And here I am in slew mode near the Empire State Building and I can move around to wherever I want. And when I get the position to where I want to start flying again, uh, I press Y again. Uh, let's go over and visit the Brooklyn Bridge for example. Let me get closer to here. And then I can press Y I'm flying near the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. You can do this for anywhere you want. Grand Canyon, you know, Paris, uh, whatever you want, Eiffel Tower, uh, Seattle, Space Needle. Just move around to where you want 
and then you can just do that. Now you can only do this from the menu. You can't do it mid-flight, uh, but it still gives you an opportunity to visit some of the places. That makes it a little more exciting to uh, use Flight Simulator. So if you're a little tired of being at home and everything, you want to go visit some place, just grab your plane, uh, punch in some coordinates, some GPS coordinates, and go. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.